The best thing about most of our Lowcountry festivals is the food. Jessica Surratt takes us north of the Broad to Beaufort's Taste of Beaufort. We are here at the Henry C. Chambers Park for the 2022 Taste of Beaufort, a two-day festival of incredible cuisine from our local Lowcountry restaurants where they are serving up their best creations. Not to mention there is an arts and crafts festival and live music, so come and check it out. I'm here with Marker 244 at the Taste of Buford. I have Jenny with me and Christine. Christine, tell me what brings you all to be a part of the festival. Well, we love supporting local businesses ourselves and we hope people come out and support us. And we're just a family owned and operated business. Um, opened in October of 2019 and been through some tough times and this has been great. This is a nice venue, a nice event, a beautiful day. Awesome, yes it is beautiful. Jenny, tell me what you guys are serving up here today. We've got the best fried shrimp in Beaufort. We've got buffalo shrimp, we've got cucumber salad, we have mac and cheese, and coleslaw. Yum! All right. Chicken kebabs. Ooh, chicken, chicken kebabs. kebabs. Don't forget okay. those. <laughs> well, Christine, tell me where you guys are located at. We are located at the base of the McTeer Bridge. It's at Port Royal Landing Marina, um, which is now Safe Harbor Marina. And uh, again, we opened October of 19 and uh, we're on the waterfront there. So come out and see us. Yeah, it's a beautiful location. Well, thank you guys for spending some time with me. Hi, I'm with Low Country Cider Company. I'm with Scott Lee here. Scott, what makes you want to be a part of the Taste of Beaufort? It's just a great event for downtown. Brings people from all over the area, Savannah, even out to Charleston, Hilton Head to Beaufort to get to see how beautiful our town is. It's so beautiful, yeah, so beautiful. Well, what are you serving up today? It looks delicious. So we have coffee, iced coffee, homemade lemonade, actually made from uh, islands from Fripp Island where we live. So it's real homemade. Uh, pies, pecan pies, blueberry pies, lemon bread, cannolis, and hand pies. We have apple and Nutella chocolate, which is really good. Guys, it looks fantastic. Well, tell everybody where your all's locations are at. So we're getting ready to open up in a week and a half from here, not this Monday, but the 16th, right here on the water. This will be our second location. Our other one is on St. Helena Island, 507 Sea Island Parkway. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for spending some time with us, and I've got to eat a little bit of that. All right. Thank you. Have <laughs> Thanks. Day. You too. Bye. I'm here with Quinn of Kappa to spend a little bit of time with her. Quinn, tell me what, tell us about the organization in general. Okay, so we're Child Abuse Prevention Association. I'm out here today hoping to find some foster parents for our youth in the Low Country area. Um, I'm hoping that I can get some people to sign up and get on board with welcoming some young, beautiful teens and sibling groups in their homes. What a fantastic organization. Tell me how people can get involved if they want to, to be a part of it. So we have a website that's very user friendly. Um, you just put in your email and your name. We get an email right away. We'll give you a call and tell you how you can get started with us. We have volunteer programs. We have the campus closet um, that you guys can donate to a volunteer at and then you can come see us at the office as well. Well, you guys heard it. It's a great place. Go online, check out their website and get involved. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, I'm with Kim McFan of Hopeful Horizons, another amazing organization. Kim, tell us uh, about it. Tell us everything. I'd love to. Um, well, first of all, I'm the legal services director at Hopeful Horizons, uh, and we have a lot of departments in addition to our legal department. We're a full service victim services agency, and we provide holistic care and services to adults and children, including counseling services. We do uh, forensic interviews in the 14th Judicial Circuit in situations where there is alleged child abuse. We also um, provide legal services for free to adult survivors of uh, sexual assault and domestic violence. And we have a website that outlines all of our services that is hopefulhorizons.org. And you can uh, learn about our organization there. We also have a great volunteer staff uh, that helps us uh, in many aspects, uh, one of the things I forgot to mention is we do we have a women's shelter here oh, wow. in Beaufort County uh, for survivors of sexual assault and domestic violence, and also uh, relationships with other shelters in the Low Country. So we do some great work, and we love to be a part of this community. Wow, so many great outreaches and causes that you guys are doing. That's fantastic. Check them out. Get involved. Simon and Anthony of Teen Challenge. So tell me, what is Teen Challenge? 
Uh, Teen Challenge is a 12-month men's faith-based recovery program in Dublin, Georgia. Dublin, what brings you all the way from Dublin to this festival? Um, we are actually coming to raise public awareness, talking about what Jesus is doing in our life, witnessing, testifying, and it's, since it's faith-based, it's not government-funded. We have to raise money ourselves off of work details, um, and we come around and do this. This is actually new. This is like a test run. <laughs> well, it, it sounds like a great organization. Like, how can people learn more about you guys? Uh, we have a website. It's uh, teenchallenge.cc. That's the website. And if you look us up, uh, Teen Challenge Southeast Region, if you're in the Southeast Region of the United States, and we're all over the country, though, and all flowing to other countries. We have centers in 144 countries and 1,400 centers. So, yeah. Well, thank you for coming to Buford. We enjoy having y'all. Coming to you with quite the view here in downtown Buford. Back to you. Thanks a lot, Jessica. We also want to thank Catherine Madaman, Mayor John McCann, and Town Manager Mark Orlando of Hilton Head Island for their input for helping make us smarter. And thank you for tuning in to the WHHI Daily News. I'm Bob Stevens. If you missed anything, we'll be back in 90 minutes.